Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1,000 Miglia. What is a Miglia, you ask? Well, I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but Miglia is miles, and so this is 1,000 miles, released in 1991 by those guys. Simul Mondo, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but this is a game that was recommended to me, and I've tried to play it a few times, and it has so much potential, and it's so well, apologies for the background, I'm not doing a little bit of the West Country, uh, and it's so well produced, and my genuine love has been put into this, but it's execution is flawed and it's hands down one of the most frustrating driving games I've ever played in my life. Well, why are you doing a video on it then, Dave? Because I wanted to share my pain with you. So, yeah, released in 1991 by uh, Simulando, and I'm assuming that 1000 Miglia is basically endurance races that took place in the 1920s and 1930s in Italy, and possibly all over Europe and or in this country. Now, I apologise that you will constantly hear the noise of disc access, because for whatever reason, the emulations, uh, the emulators that were my Super Console X, uh, decide that authenticity is key, and they recreate that noise through software. So there you go, title screen, nice title screen. I like that. You know, a little bit of effort's been put in there and stuff like that. Having a pleasant time so far. No idea what reviews this got back in the day, and I'm playing this on the 1200. Don't know if it works on the regular 500, and I don't know if it was on the Atari ST. Um, don't care. So, bosh. And then let's get into this. Q loading times. Oh no, look this. Creepy fucking serial stalker face. Then it gets even creepier when he smiles. I mean, alright, that's kind of cool, but did, did you have to use someone who's clearly a fucking axe murderer? Right, so, gonna give me. That's, I'm assuming that's an engine block. Don't know. And there's your authentic disc based noises. Some of this I may cut out, some of it I may not. Don't know. Because this is gonna be a very frustrating game for me to play. Hopefully not for you to watch, but I'll tell you what, it's got banging music, listen to this. Uh, also, he sounds like Kermit the Frog when he kicks in. No. So we can put this uh, in English. So, no. So obviously it got um, a British release then I guess, right, so. Uh, choose from, load save game, select actual drivers, create new drivers, hall of fame, pick ratio. I don't know whatever reason, did someone create this wrong? at a point when they already played 1927 but yeah so 27 to 1938 uh, let's go with select actual drivers so look presentation polish if you will definitely good music so far good time is being had by all this is our default driver so i guess we go with him uh c car right what is that? It is an engine, I'm assuming. Is that the top view down, the side view on? Car driven by the pair chosen. Uh, Superbar 2000 cylinders. So oh, six, 80 horsepower. Wow. Uh, right. They're really spoiling us. Good car. It's a good car. I'm going to say it's a good car. I can't say it's a good car. I'm going to continue. It's telling me it's a good car. I'll be the judge of that. So now, as this is endurance, uh, it's not just a question of jumping in your car and driving. No, 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 no. That would be far too easy. Uh, it's hopefully sensitive, but I'm assuming it's designed to be used with a mouse. Back to choices, continue, uh, we'll continue. Right. Skip, skip, skip. Skip to the end. Right. Spare parts, start the race, save game, spare parts. Because it's endurance, see? I'm mean, assuming we keep them in our car. Or, I don't know. We'll get the camera crew to keep them. Right, spare plugs. Oh, hang on, take it. Yay! Oh, that's not clunky, man. You let me move the mat, the, um, the mouse pointer around, but you won't let me click on it. I have to do it like this. I'm just going to take one of each. To be fair, I've never actually taken any of this stuff before. 
Is this going to slow me down? Um, do I have money? Or am I just one like rich fucking middle class idiots who did this shit back in the day when everyone else was fucking dying of poverty? Probably. Not quite like now then, to be fair. Although Italy would be a massive socialist state back then. Much quite like Britain now, to be fair. Uh, and it's only taken five weeks for two-tier Keir Stalin to play his socialist fucking dystopian cards. That's it. I can't take any more. Uh, fuck it. Let's hope I don't need any of the other ones and I'm good with what I've got. But I don't appear to have currency, so is it a weight thing? Don't know. Start the race. Alright, thank you. So here we are, I said here we are again, thank you, uh, leg uh, brassier to palmer, generally flat course with a few difficult S bends, length 99 miles, road surface dirt, weather clear, kilometers race zero, well yeah obviously, yeah you join us in the beautiful Italian countryside, forward is accelerate, far is gears, you can see gears on the right, uh, my dials are on the left, I can change up, I don't know how I change down. It's not the smoothest of roads, there is undulation. The thing is, it throws you from left to right so fast and so breakneck. And your car is stiffer than tits. If tits can in fact be stiff. I do not know how you change that. Right. But I warn you now, do not come off the road. I mean, it's not terrible. But things you've got stuff like Chase HQ. Yes, I said Chase HQ. I think Chase HQ is banging on the Amiga. SCI, Bubble Boy, uh, bug, bu Buggy Boy, Bubble Boy, that was that kid. Uh, right. See, normally when you hit something on the road, it immediately stops again. There's a bit of loading time, which is frustrating as hell. That's where I mean the frustration comes in. And then it tells you that you've lost, I don't know, 12 seconds. There you go. Watch. Who thought? Trouble screen. Who thought this was a good idea? I get what they're trying to do, but hey, hold on, we're in trouble. The wheels jammed, hurry up, but you've got to get moving. Only in Italian, not in a kind of old school Mr. Chevy one British voice. Do something, come on, we're off. Uh, time loss or repairs, 14 minutes. Starts you in four, can't change down. Road is too narrow, and it just goes left, far right. Hard left. And your car, I mean, do they get better through time? I would bloody Coco, because this drives like a piece of two by fucking four. Ooh, hey! Yoink. It's just, it needs better controls. In 1991, right, your graphics, I mean, I don't know how big the game is and how much is going on, so the visuals had to take a hit or a sacrifice, if you will. But, oh yeah, I got this button. Forgot about that. If you want a little bit of a respite, if you will. Race status, driver, name, uh, skill. All right, how far? Right, you can't swap drivers in the middle of a race. Oh, see, swap drivers. Can't swap while racing. Uh, skill, 45. Where's the distance? It doesn't tell me. Oh, look, it's on the little map. Okay, so we're halfway through. I'd rather you just gave me a fucking distance gauge game. See, it's like you're trying, but you're also trying incredibly hard to piss me off. Also, remember where you were when you press pause and come back. Because that's not going to bite you in the ass, is it? Ooh. And even if your controls weren't as stiff and they were a bit faster, I like... The road changes direction. It's just breakneck speeds. Even the fucking light cycles from Tron couldn't make those corners. And they turn it right angles. Right. Uh, hey, hold on. We're in trouble. The words are, I don't care. 17 minutes. And what little lead you've made, everyone goes pissing by you. Also, if you let go of accelerator, it doesn't decelerate. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm still first. I changed down then. How did I do that? Oh, does it? Oh, I want you. Well, it doesn't always. I just got fucking raped. Booms. He hit me. He hit me, and he went thundering on like nothing had happened. See, this is why I can. I've never fucking done a gameplay of this before. This is so you don't. 
I mean, if any of you out there played this back in the day, I'd love to know what you think, but if you found this good and could play it, I don't want your level of fucking attention. We out of time? You've just arrived in Parma. Order me a pizza, bitches. Race time, two hours, nine minutes. Average speed, 47 kilometers an hour. Oh, that's right, Europe uses kilometers. Cause they are wrong. Fire. This is just, yeah, if you got good at this, I admire your patience, but you got far more than me and probably too much of it, to be fair. Right, where are we going now? Leg info, another goodies. Goodies? Flat road, good condition, Parma to Bologna. Uh, Bologna, sorry. Flat road, good condition, with a lot of easy bends. 100, road surface, dirt, clear. Ooh. Well, I like the fact that, considering it's dirt, it looks exactly the same as the last stage. Can I get, can I get by? Fuck it. Oh! See, the thing is, you could probably get away with that on a cartridge based system. See, here's one thing. Why didn't it change that? Anyway, you could probably get away with that on a cartridge based system. But on a disc based system, if it's not cached, don't do that. It doesn't make for fun gaming experience. Also, I'm not sure what that glitch on the right hand side is doing. I just noticed it. Good times. Good times. Whoa! No, 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 stop! Hey look, he's turning his head. Is that it? Well, no! So the, the guy hit me, and then, and then, an hour after, it's again just, oh shit, I better stop. And, and dock you for 17 minutes. Also the undulation, there is undulation, so I shouldn't complain, it's there, but it's not the best, is it? Nor the roadside objects. Each stage looks exactly the fucking same. How different Bologna and Palma are, I don't know, to be fair, so maybe this is accurate with Italy in the 1920s. How am I supposed to get by? Oh, it let me off that one. So yeah, in case you're thinking, ah, you're moaning too much, fire this up. Let's see what you think of this motherfucker, because it is not a fun game. Like I said, the idea is a cool one. And some effort and polish has been put in, such as the title screens and stuff like that, and the music and shit. But the actual execution of the game, stiff controls, uh, mediocre graphics, road is too small, turns too violently. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my Chase HQ SCIs and the Buggy Boys. Oh, and Lotus, obviously. What about Lotus? In fact, how will you release this? When Lotus is already out, I mean, you could say that about a lot of racing games on the Amiga, couldn't you? But it's beyond me. Look at this! It's a fucking ski slalom! No! Should have played Time Scans. I was going to play that, and I thought that was shit. And I thought, no, let's, let's give this another go. And now I wait. Hey, is that a modern road sign? Don't say trouble an hour and a half after I fucking. The hair detection! God. No. Oh. Still going. Just a little airborne. Still good. It's still good. Points for the quote. And believe it or not, I am trying to break. Look at him. Sound design's also shit as well. I just like to put that out there. I'm going to be sick as well. Oh, sausage casserole, puck of pie for tea. That'll probably look exactly the same on the way back up as it did on the way down. Is that is that stage two? You just arrive in Bologna. Hello, Flada. Hey, that was 201 kilometers. Right, are we a little bit more? I just want to see if we're in a built-up area and it actually bothers to change stuff. I doubt it will. But, yeah, come on. Bologna, Forenza. Forenza? Forenzi? Oh, snow! You, yay! Alright. I can't see anything. Well done. You've given me snow blindness, but you clearly weren't aiming for snow blindness. It's just your shit choice of background colours. Look at this! This is insane. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm snowing! Buckles. 
He's looking at me now, look. Fuck you, you want to drive? You drive. Oh shit, I should have tried and changed um, drivers, shouldn't I, when we were stopped? Oh wait, don't care. Yeah, this is just, this is just everything about it. Like I said, it's a nice idea, but it's just mediocre at best. And when I say mediocre at best, no, it's frustrating, it's frustrating as fucking hell. Can't change my drive. Oh, don't care. Oh, it decided to change my dime that time, did it? Got snow wheels on? Did they invent them in the twenties? Oof. No! Why? He drove straight into the back of me. Not only does that make it automatically his fault under the fucking highway code, why do I get stopped? He doesn't get stopped. Oh, I'm not having a good time here. Not having a good time here. Map. I've got to remember that there's a bloke in front of me. How far am I in? Oh my god. God, I had nothing to do with this game. I mean, I'm almost there. Bollocks. Ugh, see? See? Couldn't you just put a minus or something in the bottom right hand corner and tell me that you've got to deduct fucking points or something? Instead of that screen and a little bit of a load every time. Yeah. I played this, you don't have to. I can't even see where he is! You're very welcome. Oh. And overall, what's my position? To be fair, I haven't been looking for that. <laughs> I see if you saw another car stopped, wasn't it? You saw a call of a fucking wanker as I passed him. No! Oh. He's controlled the horrible. Fuck! You, game! Don't change him down then. you got to lose so much speed when you drop your anchors just to get around some of these bends. Any headway you've made, and look at these corners, any headway you've made is just gone. Fuck you. And you. Hey! There was no noise that time! And it... Oh. I want to find the person. Excuse me, Windy Pops, who decided that that screen was a good idea and kick him square in the fucking plums. Ew! Oh! Again, no fucking noise to indicate a hit. 17 fucking minutes. Always 17 fucking minutes. Can't see him. My windscreen's not transparent. Right, is that it? Or did, no, no, because he hit me. No, there we go, friends. Uh, resistance, mechanics, don't know, don't care. 1,000 miglia on the Amiga. Trust me, I mean, if you played this, I'd love to know what you think, but if you haven't played this, trust me, you do not want to play this. Could have been great. In reality, pretty shit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.